Good morning everyone, this is Eric with The Boathouse down in Cape Coral, Florida. Uh, we have the awesome opportunity to preview the new 302 Sportsman. We've got it here in the water. I'd love to walk through the boat with you and kind of show you some of the new features and the awesome, awesome things that Sportsman has done. We're going to start up here in the bow. As we transition forward to note with the extra beam compared to the 282, I got plenty of room to walk and feel secure running up here. Something new this year up in the bow area with our cushions, they've integrated a cutout so we can access our storage areas on both sides without taking our cushions off. Great, great ease of access to get into our, our compartments. Cup holders up front, removable backrests that are nice and wide, hug us and hold us up in the bow, and of course the standard combing panels that kind of wrap you into the boat. New for this model, we've got a forward lifting cooler or dry storage, whatever you like, uh, insulated and drains overboard. Uh, a great option for keeping your beverages cold. A big improvement this year and something different we're seeing more and more of is the detubing on the hardtop. It integrates into the console. We have no feet on the floor, nothing to catch dirt or debris or our toes. Uh, it gives us a really super clean look. Of course, they've transitioned to the full glass panels for our windscreen, and we also have the vent to allow some air into our cockpit area when we're running the boat. Two other features that we have on the new 302 within their hardtop is we've integrated the navigation lights, both red and green, up on top, give us better visibility from oncoming traffic. The other great feature is the new razor lights for our spreader lights, both fore and aft. Awesome, awesome things that they've done. Integrated a radar dome with the, the correct tilt so that when we're running on plane, we're still getting our best sight line going forward. As we transition back, we'll stop off here real quick at the console. A lot of people don't put a lot of emphasis on this, but it is an important part of boating, especially if you're married. We've got a nice little storage area up in the front, a great little marine head down underneath the seat, a sink and a shower, and a place for four rods. New is a nice mirror, so if we're going to a restaurant, um, we can get ready to go in. And then the great idea is dedicated ladder storage on this forward wall for our dual dive doors, one on each side. Again, dual dive doors not a single-sided dive door. Uh, nice solid pressure hinges, door stays open and locks in nice and tight. Uh, transitioning into the helm area, as you can see, a super, super clean dash. We've got two GPSs, they're 12-inch Garmin's, we've got a horn button, we've got the integrated digital switching uh, with Garmin in this. Again, trim tabs with uh, uh, monitors, JL audio system, which is the upgraded system. Uh, great sound when you're on the water. Garmin VHF radio hidden up behind the hard top. So it still gives us a really super clean look. A small little storage area. Two storage drip downs down at the floor. We'll give you a little shot of that so you see what we've got. Tilt Optimus steering with the Yamaha 300s and these great little storage bins on each side up on the dash. Good place to put your phone. It's rubber matted on the bottom so you don't have to worry about things sliding around. Uh, another great innovation from Sportsman. They've uh, integrated the battery compartment really super great. Remove the panel, get to all our batteries, all our wiring, uh, battery charger, the pump for the steering. Just a great access for working, which if you ever have had a problem out in the water, that's a huge, huge deal. Still using the same great seats, they are movable fore and aft, so you can get your comfort down if you're shorter or taller, it does a great job. And again, back to that nice look of the D-tubing, clean, nothing on the floor. By going to this, we also get more support. We've got the significant support back here, lots of rocket launchers for our rods when we're going out fishing. The other thing on the 302 they did is they, they moved the kill boxes or the fish boxes back further. We transitioned to the transom. We've added two aquarium style live wells uh, in the 35 gallon range each, and they are pressurized. So that's another new feature from Sportsman this year. Still have their same great seat, ease of lifting up, holding away, um, back out. We still have the total access hatch to get to all of our stuff. And for a new offering, we're in a 30 foot boat with the Sea Keeper 2. So if you have the occasion to be a little ill, seasick, you're on anchor, you get that rocky rolly feeling, put in a Sea Keeper 2, all that goes away. So we have, we have two ways to egress out of the boat. Again, I told you about the dedicated ladder storage. Those are for our two dive doors. They flip off, 
great, great way to get on and off the boat away from the engines. Of course, to be M MMA certified, we need to have another way to get on board the boat. And we've got our dedicated starboard ladder off the stern of the boat so that if we're in that water, we can still get back on. Looking forward, the all important prep area, bait area. We've got a sink and ice chest or, or bait area with cutting board. A little leaning post that we're, we're hanging on. And then lots of nice drawer storage, tackle storage, drop out plano box storage, another drawer, and more plano boxes. So, as far as the tackle center goes, lots and lots of storage, um, and uh, a little bit more beam from its predecessor, the 282, and a little bit smaller than the 312. So, great fit in between. And uh, most of these are going to be fully equipped without Seakeeper in the under $200,000 range. I thank you for your attention. Appreciate your time. You can look us up at www.boathouseh2o.com. And I'm Eric from Cape Coral. Thank you.